Hey, it's Nisi from my pool shop and I'm gonna show you a couple different tips today um, how they're composed what brands they are different shapes that you can get a little bit about care and maintenance and we're also gonna talk about mushrooming so just to get started um, I've got a couple different tips here let me clear all this out I've got a Kamui clear soft you can see I've got a Q-Sol medium a tiger sniper medium I've got a triangle and a what is this ice uh icebreaker by tiger tiger icebreaker so this is a soft a medium i would say this is about medium hardish and usually we would have a hard tip here i don't have any at the moment and then a phenolic tip you can also go super soft you can also go extra hard so ranging from one end of the spectrum all the way over here typically this is you're going to be your cutoff of you're going to play with a soft, super soft, a soft, or a medium, and you're going to break with your hard, extra hard, or phenolic, also jump cue. Um, that's kind of like the delineation line. A lot of people, if you're just starting out, I do recommend starting to learn with a medium tip. Uh, it just gives a little bit less variability in your game while you're learning how to play. So that's what I recommend here, and that's what a lot of people like, and that's what a lot of people order. But I do have people asking about a soft tip and they'll say like, hey, I wanna try a soft tip. A lot of people that I've had try soft tips and they've been playing for a little while, they love it and they never go back. But I do always give that reassurance. I give people a couple different options if uh, they wanna try a soft tip. I will typically have them say like, hey, if you wanna try a soft tip, let's get you a really cheap one. Uh, that way you're not like wasting your money if you don't like it. Um, if you do like it, Next time you need a tip, we can get you like a, a nicer one or, you know, your brand preference. And if you don't like it, we can always just take it off and put you back your medium that you originally had. Um, so that is kind of about that. Um, going through these individual tips in general, uh, they are, these three are layered leather tips. So if we're looking at it, um, let's see if we can see it here. If you see all these little lines, these are actually layers of leather. So they take leather, um, they compress it down, and they glue them together to make these layered leather tips. This Kamui Clear, it's called a clear because it has a clear pad on the back, if you can see here. Um, these other tips don't have a clear pad. You can order pads separately. Um, according to Kamui, for this tip specifically, it does provide a scientifically better adhesion for tip installers. It's supposed to be easier for tip installers. I mean, it's supposed to play a lot better. I don't know about playing better. I personally play with a Kamui Clear Medium. That's what came with my cue and I still play with it. I still, I enjoy it. I'm not a highly skilled player on the two, um, but that's what I enjoy playing with. And I do really like soft tips. I played with a soft, um, a soft and a super soft, I think before. And it, it feels really nice. Um, but yeah, so that's the pads. In terms of installation, I will obviously put on whatever somebody asked me to put on for them um, in terms of Q-tips. But uh, I don't know that the clear pad just, the clear pad just kind of makes me a little bit nervous. I'm so used to taking this tip and just <sighs> scuffing it up and then sticking it on. Um, but this one, you're just supposed to take denatured alcohol, just spray it on and put one little boop of glue on there and stick it on. But Man, that's what Kamui says. That's their installation instructions for these clears. Um, but it just makes me so nervous. I don't know why. I'm looking at this ad here. So it does come in black, but they also have like a tan color. It does not come with the lady though. Sorry. Um, so this is their clear. It comes in two different. It's just a personal preference. I don't, they shouldn't play any different. And they also have this, this chalk. But that is a leather layered tip. Um, this Tiger Sniper Medium and oops, and the Q-Soul have what I am calling an indicator line, and I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but this is kind of what I'm calling an indicator line, is these two separately colored ones. And it can kind of help you tell like how far your tip has come down um, in terms of you know how much play you have. It's kind of like a tire tread indicator, I don't know. Um, but if you're wondering how often you should be changing your tips, uh, I read a magazine, yes, I can read a magazine, a pool magazine, and it said that professionals, professionals that are playing for hours and hours a day, 
are really only changing their tips out every six months, maybe maybe every six months, but probably every year. So if you're changing your tip out any as often as that or any more often than that, then you might want to reconsider some of your care and maintenance or um, that that's probably it or just get a little bit taller of a tip or or the other thing too is if you can see how tall this tip is right now like that it's coming in this is very scientific it's this big sometimes tip installers will um, take off a few layers and then shape it so it's actually only about um, it's only about this tall when you finally get it that's kind of hard to see but for all intents and purposes purposes it might be half the size when you finally get it um for me i if people don't ask me to take take off uh, layers and they or you know a distance that they want down uh, then i keep it all the way on and that helps your tip last a little longer it does feel weird to play with if you're used to playing with your tip and it's always like worn down all the way to the bottom and all of a sudden you have all this extra space, it is going to feel weird to play with at first. I will say that. Um, that there, the other thing is that you can kind of see, oops, it does look, these are kind of hard to hold. They're like circular. Um, the height is very different between these three. So the Kamui Clear, oh my goodness, the Kamui Clear is very tall. The Q sole is like a medium height, and then the Tiger Sniper, let's just do this, is like a very different height, if you can see that. Um, I don't think that there's any functional difference. You're not getting a better value because this one is taller or this one is shorter. I think it just has to do with the number of layers and then the thickness of layers. The other piece is that this has a clear pad at the bottom and a plastic cover at the top. So that's something to keep in mind here. So I think that these two might be a little bit more comparable in terms of height. And if I can hold them, you can kind of see the difference here. I don't think that that's really something to consider when you're picking your tip. I think a lot of people go based on price point or just a general brand that they like or they ask their friends or they ask their installer what they recommend. I usually um, ask people their price point and then if they already have any brands that they like or if they're looking for a specific color, you know, things like that. Um, I've seen tips come in like this is kind of a grayish bluish. They have a black. Um, I've seen like tan like like this one. I haven't seen too many other colors. Not that I'm thinking off the top of my head. They do have like a phenolic. I know they have like a clear one, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but that's typically what I'll ask. So for price point, this is about five dollars a tip, and this is twenty twenty three prices. I'm making this video in twenty twenty four, but I bought these in twenty twenty three. Um, I bought them off Amazon, and they came five to a pack. Um, so I got five mediums. You can get an assortment for about five dollars each. The Tiger Sniper and the Kamui clear run you about 26 to 28 dollars depending on you know i don't know how amazon is feeling that day if your uh, tip installer is a kamui tip installer they can get something cheaper for you off of using their discount so if you have a tip installer just ask them if they have a kamui discount they might be able to get you one um that one the top the triangle which is kind of going across this way um, the medium harder one, this is like 50 cents a pop. I think I got, and my husband bought these for like a hundred, maybe for like $50 or so, or 50 for $50. I don't know. These ones are super duper cheap. They are a completely different construction though. So like I said, these are the layered tips. They've got all these layers. This is like just a little, little hockey puck. I call it. It's like a composite. I guess it's a composite. I don't know the right word, but it's just a bunch of leather fluff stuck together. Um, that that one, I don't know who I would recommend this triangle for. I think it's great just to have backups. I think it's great to have a backup tip in your, in your case all the time. So if you order a Tiger Sniper Medium, I would recommend ordering just get two of them at once. And that way you can keep it. You can have your tip installer put one on your queue and then you can keep the other one in your bag or at home or whatever and just keep it safe so that if something happened to your queue or your tip or some I don't know something happened and you need a new tip or you need it right away and you're going to this big old tournament that of course those things happen right before your big tournaments um 
then uh, you have your tip and it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about your installer having it in stock or anything like that. Um, these are the current tips that I have in stock. I go through a lot of Kamui mediums, so that's why I don't have any right now. Um, Q-Soul is great. Uh, the triangles, I've only had one person ask for a triangle. And then this one is an icebreaker phenolic. This one I bought two of just to have an extra one in stock. So that's kind of why I have these. Um, so that's a soft, that's a medium, that's a triangle. This phenolic tip, this one, like I said, this kind of like your delineator, this is going to be for your break and jump cues. This is a completely different construction as well. It's a phenolic tip, which means that it actually has um, fibers in it. And I don't know what kind of fibers, but if you can see all those like little dots and stuff on here, those are the actual fibers. And it's constructed, I don't remember what it's called. It's some sort of plastic. I have another video on it somewhere, but I guess I should rewatch it so I could learn it. These are super duper hard. So if you listen to it, that compared to like a medium, oops, oops, uh, they sound very different. Um, and they also like fall very different. I don't know, very scientific. But um, this is gonna be for your break jump cue. Uh, these are phenolic. I don't have too much experience with the phenolic tips other than the fact that they are so freaking loud and they are so hard. The idea behind the different hardness and tips, um, and this is just for general information, but a soft tip is really gonna allow you to feel how you're hitting the ball so you can put a lot of English. Um, it will really like grip the ball and it will kind of like mold around it and then push it off. The phenolic tips, you know, all the way on the other side of the spectrum, the phenolic tips are really meant for power transfer. So all, all of the energy that you're putting into your cue and your tip is going to directly transfer to this ball. This is not molding around anything. I mean, it's just like poof, straight contact. Whereas the soft is going to kind of bloop and then go off. Yes, very scientific, I understand. Um, and then, of course, in the middle, you're going to have kind of like a Goldilocks in between. As far as tip recommendations go, um, I do recommend that people start with a medium if they've never gotten their tip changed before, if they've never gotten their, like, something new. I recommend them starting with a medium, just in general. Uh, just because, like I said, it's, a, it's an in-between. It's good to learn with. It's good to last you a long time it doesn't have as much mushrooming um the phenolic and the extra hard typically people have their brands that they like so i don't really get questions about these when people are asking me about soft tips they are typically asking like hey i currently play with medium tip i want to try a soft tip now what do you recommend and you know if you have a brand that you like stick i'd say stick with your brand if you're concerned about cost um, get you a cheap one if you're trying to start with a soft and you don't know if you're going to like it. Majority of the people, I don't think I've ever had somebody ask like, hey, can you put a soft tip on? And then they come back and say, I hated this. Um, please put my medium back on. I've never had that happen. Anybody who tries a soft tip really, really enjoys it. For me personally, I play with a Kamui medium uh, clear. That's just what came on my cue. I'm like a two. I'm not like a super amazing player or anything. But um, I enjoy playing with it. When I have played with a soft and a super soft, I really enjoyed like feeling, it just felt really different. It felt really nice. Um, with a soft though, you are gonna have a little bit different maintenance. So if I get my, my thing here, um, I do wanna explain a little bit about mushrooming. So if this is your cue, this is very scientific. That's your cue, and you have your ferrule. Then when you put your tip on, uh, this is like this. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna shave it down. So if we're looking at the cue like this, like we're gonna hit a ball. Uh, when we first get our tip, it'll kind of look like this, right? And it'll be totally straight. Mushrooming refers to after we've hit the ball like many times, um, or and the tip has been squished down this is what mushrooming will look like so we have our cue we have our ferrule and you can get these replaced as well um, and the pads i was talking about will go right here in between um, the pad um, mushrooming refers to what happens when your 
q-tip actually goes over the edge and your q is here but your tip goes off here so it starts to look like a little mushroom i call it muffin top affectionately because look at it it's like a little muffin top it's so cute and who doesn't love a muffin top um pool players don't because they don't want this so when you come in for a shape up what we'll do is we'll just take these sides and we'll basically reset it to how you had it here before so that's what mushrooming is um that's a natural consequence of just playing pool and having a tip in general um the soft tips and the super soft tips are very prone to this mushrooming after like the first week depending on how much you play the first week or first couple weeks um you will have to get the the mushrooming fixed on your softer tips the medium tips this can also happen but probably not as much um that's why i say like the soft tips do require a little bit of maintenance a little bit more maintenance but that is what mushrooming is i'm very officially for that um in general when you are getting your tip installed in the in the first place and they're asking you okay what shape do you want you have these two options basically of a nickel shape or a dime shape and they're called nickel and dime um not because we're trying to nickel and dime you but uh if you see this oh gosh i keep dropping them if you see this um this looks like a little hockey puck it is totally straight and squared off when we get this nickel shape we're actually when we have this on the lathe we are checking it like like this so we are looking at it seeing all that extra i can't hold it and show on the same time um all this extra um we need to get rid of this so that's the nickel shape is a little bit uh, flatter and the dime shape is a lot more curved um, it doesn't look like that much of a difference you know you have nickels and dimes at home you can see this um, but when you're playing if you know if you play pool these tiny tiny differences can make a really big difference in how you play and how you feel about how you play and all that so if you're getting a tip for the first time and you don't say anything um, your installer will probably put a nickel on this is most common if and it's really easy to put on a dime you just have to let them know hey i want to put a dime on what i've seen a lot of players ask for is if they like a medium and they will typically ask for a nickel shape and if you have a soft they will typically ask for a dime shape i don't know if it's because of the level of skill of players like who's selecting what shape um or if it's the hardness i'm not really sure but i'm just kind of telling you what my experiences are with that when you first get your tip and when it's coming off the lathe so if it's if it's going around the lathe like super fast and then we're done we say okay it looks great and at the very end we're going to scuff it up um a lot of people have these scuff shaper thingies they look like a little hourglass i do not like those uh if you want to do it go ahead and be my guest but i don't like them all you really need is 120 grit sandpaper and this one is used because i just installed a bunch of tips but um all you need to do it i'm barely touching it like if i did this on my nail like it's not really doing that much but on these leather tips you have just barely gotta get it the idea here with a scuffer um kamui does sell i think they're called dragon's tongue or some lizard tongue or something like that that is a really nice scuffer and it's a metal version of this basically what you're trying to do with this is you are trying to take your tip from something that looks like this which is totally like bald and not gonna carry any any chalk at all and you're trying to turn it into something like this if you have a leather layer tip if you can see all those different like i don't know hairs or like crevices where the chalk can get in there and it can stick so that it can have a good um, stickiness on the ball. Stickiness is not the right word, but you know what I mean. All you need is 120 grit and you're just gonna take it. This is how I personally do it. I take it in my hand, I put my thumb in the middle and I just go like that, like one, two from the middle. And I just slowly turn it, slowly turn it and that should be enough to get get you what you need um so like i said kamui sells this home depot sells sandpaper all, this is not glamorous but this is all you need so if you're trying to go cheap 
Um, just get you some sandpaper. You can do it at home. It's it's really not that big a deal. Um, the pocker, I am not a fan of. It's this like tool that has like pokey things on it, and you go like. I don't like those just because the construction of these tips, it's leather layers are already compressed down. And when you use that pokey thingy, my barber, and you aggressively scuff, you are just basically smashing down your tip to be next to nothing. And you're scraping everything off so that it um, it's prematurely wearing down your tip. So I know people love their scuff pocker shaper tool things and that's great if you love it you know more power to you, you do whatever you want you're just gonna have to get your tip fixed way more often than you really need to if you're looking for uh, a diy solution um or you want to make your tip last a lot longer just get you a little bit of sandpaper and just kind of scuff it up a little bit um you don't what i do want to say is you don't want to press on it and turn because you can actually change the shape of this um so this the idea is like really lightly i wish i could show like a pressure of how light i'm actually doing this it, it really is just that that much it's really not and here's a fresh one if you can see the difference but that is all i have for you today i know this was super long but i hope you found it helpful if you have any questions about any of these tips or you'd like me to review a specific tip Please let me know if you have more knowledge than me and you are a way experienced Q-tip installer or you are an awesome pool player. I would love to hear it in the comments and so that we can learn together. So I will see y'all next time. I typically only make shorts. I just wanted to make this video so that we could all learn together. I will see y'all next time. Bye.